Hey guys, it's Chris. From an enormous crab bigger than a boat to suspicious sightings of sea monsters, here are 10 creatures spotted on Google Earth. Number 10. Google Street View Runs Over Donkey First on today's list is a creature not only spotted on Google Earth, but that appears to have been directly hit by the Google Street View car. The image shows a donkey lying in the rut of a road in Botswana, Africa. At first glance, it definitely looks like the Google Street View car hit the donkey, ran it over, and then just kept going. However, the company has claimed that nobody ran over the donkey. It's really just a coincidence, and it was first noticed by a Twitter account for the fictional Sheldon Cooper from the TV show The Big Bang Theory. Even more interesting is it depends on which direction you're traveling on the Google Earth map. If you go one way, the donkey appears to meet a rather sudden demise. And if you go the other way, the donkey appears to be waking up from a short nap in the road as the car approaches. Again, Google insists the car didn't hit the donkey, but it doesn't really look good for them, that's for sure. Definitely bad timing. Hopefully, it just woke up from its nap and continued living another day. And this really is one of the best creatures spotted on Google Earth, even if it's not a Bigfoot or a mythical monster. Number 9. Pigeon People The Pigeon People from Google Maps is one of the most disturbing things ever seen on the application. Either the Google Street View car discovered a secret group of pigeon-human hybrids living in Japan, or it's an elaborate prank. Regardless, it is absolutely creepy and weird. And once again, the timing of the car was just perfect. The view from the Google Street car shows a group of pigeon people standing on the sidewalk in the Musai Shino district of western Tokyo. As far as the actual story goes, this was a prank perpetrated by some Japanese students. There is apparently an art school nearby, the Musai Shino Art University, which is likely where the students in the photo came from. Maybe it was a school project. Maybe modern art at its best, I don't know. What do you think these people were doing? Let me know in the comments below. The pigeon heads are very obviously rubber masks, but it's still pretty strange. I wouldn't really want to run into them. Even creepier is that when you move forward or backward along the street view, the pigeon people turn and follow you. While these are not real creatures for sure, it's definitely one of the more impressive Google Maps pranks to date. It's a flash mob of mutants. Number 8. Flying Rabbit this next story is a once-in-a-lifetime moment. A poor rabbit's final moments on Earth were caught by the 360-degree camera mounted on the top of the Google Street View vehicle. And unlike the donkey in Botswana, the Google Street View car is absolutely guilty of striking this animal on the road while driving through Poland. The camera captured the exact moment that the rabbit ran into the road and was struck by the vehicle. But what's really interesting is if you go to a particular part of the street, it appears that the rabbit is flying through the air several feet above the ground. It really does look like it's flying. Unfortunately, it's not flying in a fun way. After the vehicle struck the rabbit, it was flung quite far through the air, creating the illusion in the images that the rabbit is flying. Some users who discovered the photo made some rather rude comments, saying things like, hair today gone tomorrow, or it really was a bad hair day. What do you think about the poor fate of this rabbit? Let me know in the comments below. And now for number 7, but first, do you use Google Earth? Have you ever found anything strange or cool? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to WorldList if you haven't already. Number 7. Crabzilla One of the most controversial creatures ever found on Google Earth is Crabzilla. This monstrous crustacean was found off the coast of Kent in the United Kingdom. The view from Google Earth appears to show an enormous crab, much larger than a boat sitting off the pier just minding its own business, but it really is quite remarkable. At first glance, it definitely looks like a crab. It has a crab's body, crab's legs, even giant pincers in front of it. Judging by its size, you could safely say it's about 50 feet long. And yes, if it were real, it would be a thing of nightmares. Larger than boats and even larger than many of the buildings at the pier. No wonder it's been named Crabzilla. It's a formidable monster but it's probably not real. The chances of a 50-foot crab existing off the English coast is kind of ridiculous. According to a report by The Independent, the photo is actually a hoax. An expert from the Natural History Museum in London has denounced the photo as completely ridiculous and definitely not real. And there are a few good reasons for this, not the least of which is that the largest crab in the world is the Japanese spider crab. 
and these can only grow to be the size of a small car with the leg span of around 12 feet. That's a far stretch from being the size of a small mansion. Not to mention these crabs live in deep and cold waters, very far from land and far from the coast. Plus, debunkers on the internet have been able to find the original photograph that didn't have the crab in it. The photo has definitely been doctored, much like almost every giant sea monster on the internet. Right? Maybe. Number 6. The Loch Ness Monster this one actually comes from Apple Maps, but it's basically the same thing as Google Earth. A recent satellite photograph appears to have captured the Loch Ness Monster cruising beneath the blue waters of Loch Ness in Scotland. In the satellite images, it very much looks like a giant monster's head with tentacles streaming out behind it. In fact, the image is so convincing that the story was picked up by local British newspapers. And while monster hunters get pretty excited about this kind of evidence, the image was soon debunked. As much as I hate to be kind of a bummer, it turns out that the supposed image of the Loch Ness Monster is simply the wake from a boat. The distinctive pattern exactly matches the wake from a vessel cruising through the lake. And what a lot of people don't understand is that the satellite image is not actually just one image. The image we see is composed of a few different ones, and this helps to create the illusion of a massive sea creature skulking around the loch. However, many people still think the Loch Ness Monster is out there and are just waiting for the right satellite to be there at the right time. Number 5. Missing Persons Case This story isn't about a creature exactly, but in a way it kind of is. Besides, it's so extraordinary that I just have to tell you about it. You see, a man who had been using Google Earth to take a look at his old property ended up seeing something extremely unusual. While looking at the pond behind the house, the man spotted a lump that looked a lot like a vehicle. He reached out to the local authorities, who then used a drone to scan the area, which is located in Florida. The sheriff's office eventually confirmed that it was indeed a vehicle sitting in the water. After investigating, they discovered the remains of a human sitting inside the vehicle. After a little more investigating, authorities identified the body of a man who had gone missing on November 8th of 1997. While no arrests had been made, it's still a pretty freaky discovery just from checking out Google Earth. What happened to this man? Hopefully the family will finally get some closure after all of these years. And who knew you could help solve cold cases by just using Google Earth? Sherlock Holmes, come on man, eat your heart out. Number 4. Google Earth Dinos A pair of dinosaurs have recently been discovered on Google Earth. In the satellite image, you can clearly see the shadows of a Brontosaurus and a Tyrannosaurus Rex roaming through the backyard of a manufacturing plant in New Jersey. And if you look a little closer, you can see a caveman running along between the two dinosaurs. So is this an accidental glimpse into the past? Of course not. The images from Google Earth show the statues of dinosaurs that were built by a man named Woody Hauser, who is employed by the G.J. Oliver Company, which makes and designs lube oil systems for industrial use. However, in his spare time, Woody designs and creates dinosaurs out of steel. The T-Rex and the Brontosaurus are his doing and there is even a Triceratops near them on the property as well. Unfortunately, no one has ever actually spotted a real dinosaur on Google Earth. There are plenty of stories about it and lots of forgeries, but it's never really happened. These steel constructs are the closest we will ever come to satellite images of dinosaurs. Number 3. Hot Tub Monkeys Back in 2012, Google announced their new and improved Trekker Street View camera, which would allow people to travel even farther than they could using the Street View trike or the Street View trolley. It took only a week for some of the most amazing creatures on Earth to show up on Google Street View. Say hello to a Japanese family of macaws taking a steaming bath in Jimo Ku Danny Monkey Park. And yes, these are real monkeys, not constructs of steel. These are wild monkeys who just so happen to spend a lot of time hanging out and relaxing in the hot springs of the valley of the Yukuyo River. And now you can say hello to them thanks to Google Earth. These monkeys have been coming back to the hot springs every year since 1963. The springs are only reachable by taking a long two kilometer footpath through the forest. And now with Google's impressive new technology, you can roam to so many more places than before and explore places from the comfort of your own home. Especially right now, since you kind of have to these days, who knows what other kinds of creatures will be discovered using this method. If you got any ideas, throw a comment down below. Number two, Bigfoot. No list of creatures caught on Google Earth would be complete without at least one Bigfoot sighting. 
The one we're talking about today is an image from Google Earth that shows very clearly a figure that must be Bigfoot lurking alongside the Trans-Canada Highway in British Columbia. You can obviously see the Bigfoot through the brush, apparently taking a leisurely stroll. However, the creature can only be seen from one angle. Does this mean he's incredibly elusive? Is it a problem with the Google Earth technology? Or could it mean that the Bigfoot is not actually real at all? Whatever you choose to believe, this is another blurry photo that proves beyond a doubt that Bigfoot might actually exist, and he might be Canadian. It could be Bigfoot, it could be a burned tree stump, it could be nothing at all. Bigfoot, also known as the Sasquatch, has been known to reside in Canada for years and years. He's been spotted hundreds if not thousands of times, and this latest image from Google is further proof of his status as might be real. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 1. Sea Monsters Perhaps the most incredible creatures spotted using Google Earth are sea monsters. There's no shortage of images depicting things like sea snakes, leviathans, and even krakens. There are even some images that show pictures of what appear to be giant jellyfish hundreds of feet long snaking through channels and lurking in the open ocean. One of the most famous, though, is the kraken. While viewers are keeping their eyes peeled for sea monsters, someone noticed something strange almost glowing in the dark in a remote part of the ocean near Deception Island. All kinds of people were claiming it to be a kraken or some kind of thrashing sea monster. But it's just a rock called Snail Rock. And the good news here is that people are learning a lot more about geography. Another famous photo shows an enormous sea snake in OK Bay, New Zealand. However, experts agree that any reptiles of the sort have been extinct for millions of years. It is not some sort of mythical creature come to life, but most likely the wake of a boat as it leaves the bay. And there are sometimes data artifacts that appear in Google Earth confusing us all and getting removed later. Some people even claimed they found the lost city of Atlantis, but Google reported it was a glitch and removed it. The sad truth is we have not found an enormous sea monster out there yet, although it's probably for the best. Unless someone has and is just keeping it a secret. Still, it is kind of fun to imagine the possibilities. What kind of creature would you like to spot on Google Earth? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to Worldless to keep up on the newest videos. We'll see you again soon.